In your videos, you say that each project of the gods receives a certain amount of time, an eon. And since the gods haven't fulfilled all of their plans yet, this causes them to take the time away from people. My question is, how can I protect my time from being taken away by the gods? How do we learn to spend less time on vital necessities such as sleeping and eating and avoid falling ill since we need time to learn, to practice and to read books? I will answer the last question first. It is a matter of practice, of training and of personal systems of excitement and relaxation. These things can be obtained in several ways, biological, biochemical, as well as through practice and training. Yes, there are ways that enable you to get used to sleeping for four hours. You just fall asleep so deeply that the organism takes a much shorter time to fully rest. It's basically biology at work. The adrenaline needs to be eliminated from the organism in time, which means that the respective mechanism must get activated. Take Okunin, the writer. In his book series, in the first books on Fandorin, he described how this precise effect was attained with the help of Japanese training methods. Each and everyone uses his own mechanism here. Some rely on specific means, such as chemical and biochemical, herbal or non-herbal, any kind. Some have their personal nutrition systems, some have personal training programs. In any case, you have to deal with biology, and this means you have to come to mutual agreement with it. What concerns the first part of your question? Yes, according to the algorithm, if you will be studying all the mythological systems, starting from the very early ones and finishing with the current, you will see that each system has a certain amount of time during which all the stages of development, becoming and fading are taking place. This system, for example, is well described by Lev Gumilev in his Passionarity theories. Although it speaks of ethnic groups, the same can be applied to pantheons, to the cultural systems we call mythological or the pantheons of different deities. And it is an actual rule, meaning that an eon, approximately 2,150 years, gets allocated to a specific project. A project related to development of civilization, that is, the connection of the proto-foundation order with other proto-foundations, and the development of algorithms of ways to directly control any of the proto-foundations through the proto-foundation order and the other way around, meaning that each pantheon has his own task at hand. The Greeks were filling up the proto-foundation life, the Egyptians were filling up the proto-foundation death, the Slavs the proto-foundation love, Celts the proto-foundation hate, Scandinavians the proto-foundation tradition. Each one of them had its own task. And what was able to be done on time was done on time, and whatever wasn't done on time wasn't. And it wouldn't be incorrect to say that the gods are taking time away from people. It is the cults, the egregors that do that. The gods do not possess such algorithms. It is like a lifetime. Even if you drink three gallons of your neighbor's blood, this would not stop nor freeze your inner biological life clock. Other mechanisms are at work here. Whereas an egregor, a cult, can use these voluntary handouts to exist for a while longer, if people themselves want it to be that way. As to there is no longer a god or a cult, but the cult itself still exists. And so for it to be that way, such voluntary handout from people would be necessary. And obtaining such a voluntary handout is actually extremely easy. One must simply make the person dependent on the system to an extent that he will voluntarily give away his time just so that things don't change, which in fact we see happening right now in our days. Look around. Look at the people around you from this point of view precisely. They're ready for anything, just so the things return to the way they were. Even if things weren't that great and they used to complain about life, have cursed it and found faults in it, still, as soon as it began to fall apart, they were overcome with a catastrophic panic, because the cloaca was at least familiar to them. And in the name of this familiar cloaca, people would agree to practically anything, to poke holes in themselves, to let others poke holes in their children, anything really, thereby richly demonstrating their devotion, demonstrating their loyalty to the old system, which is what the system actually needs.